Lactic acid and base deficit. Lactic acid is a byproduct of anaerobic metabolism, which means metabolism without oxygen. Normally, the cells use aerobic metabolism, and it breaks down the glucose to form energy. And normally, the cells use oxygen available to break down the glucose and produce ATP. If the body doesn't have the oxygen, it converts the metabolism to anaerobic metabolism. The end product is lactic acid. So the body is acidic, the pH drops, it means there is a tissue ischemia. So if we take the glucose, CCC, CCC, six of them, and we go to aerobic metabolism and we're gonna break down the glucose. So we'll have two pyruvates, pyruvate CCC, pyruvate CCC, and ATP, two of them. That's not a lot of energy, and the pyruvate is a mild acid. There's different ways to get more energy, like going to the mitochondria and use the oxygen and produce a lot more ATP. When we break down glucose to produce energy in the presence of oxygen, so the glucose will split into two separate three carbon molecules called the pyruvate and produces ATP. If you don't have oxygen, then the pyruvate will be attached to hydrogen atoms, which is a proton. H plus is an acid. If you are acidotic and sick patient, you will have a lot of floating hydrogen atoms and a lot of floating protons. The pyruvate will attach to the free hydrogen protons. The H plus plus pyruvate, it's called lactate. So it is a pyruvate that's holding on hydrogen. Lactic acid is the end product of anaerobic metabolism. So what is the story of the base deficit? As the protons, which is the hydrogen, at the number of protons goes up, the pH will go down. The patient becomes acidotic. So how the body deals with the protons, the acid? The body will deal with it using bicarbonate. It is the buffer if the pH goes down because there's a lot of protons in the body, and the bicarb will be used up in this situation. The bicarb goes down because we're combining it with the protons, and when the bicarb goes down, it becomes a metabolic acidosis. So when you combine the bicarb with the protons, it will make carbonic acid, H2CO3, rather than HCO3, which is bicarb. The carbonic acid can give water, H2O, and CO2. The lactic acid will give out the protons, and it will get buffered by the bicarbonate, leaving lactate. And when that happens, the bicarb will go down, and that is the base deficit. So how do you know that the patient is resuscitated? You can do it by several ways. The two ways that come in the exam, either the base deficit from minus 2 to plus 2, or the serum lactate level. The normal is less than 2.5.